Hello, we are Michelle and David, and we are the parents of Erin Han, who is in eighth grade this year. We have been a part of the CFS community since 2015, when Erin began as a second grader. Looking back over the last seven years, we are so grateful to CFS for nurturing Erin to grow as a whole person. We are sure that Erin's experience with the CFS community has become a priceless treasure for her. To this day, I remember a quote from the welcome message of the head of a school on 2015's curriculum night. I quote, academic excellence and the sense of social justice are like the two wheels of a carriage. The two have to grow together with the balance and CFS will nurture these within each student. Now, after seven years, we realized how the CFS community has kept this promise and we'd like to share some of our experiences. Last summer, Erin had an opportunity to participate in a five-week summer program where all classes were reading and discussion based. According to Erin, what was especially helpful for her was the habit of close reading and discussion that she was able to refine through practicing at CFS. When Erin was a second grader, she wrote a letter to one of her teachers that she aspired to become a historian when she grew up. And she so much enjoyed her social studies classes. Her teacher's reply was, Erin, since you are exploring history so eagerly now, you are already a historian. This insight was a great source of motivation for Erin in her ongoing studies. And this is just one of the many examples of care and encouragement that Erin has received from her teachers at CFS. Uh, we think that uh, this kind of care and encouragement has shaped Erin into a self-motivated learner which became evident during the quarantine last year. For the last two semesters, uh, Erin chose to attend school fully online, and CFS prompt an excellent care in a remote learning environment helped Erin to continue her studies smoothly uh, without disruption. Her art teacher prearranged the pickup of project materials so that Erin could participate in art class from home, her PE teacher uh, set up a weekly email exchange with Erin so that she could continue to keep up with her fitness routine at home. Also, with the prompt and individualized uh, support from several CFS teachers, Erin wa was also able to successfully audition for Eastern District last year for both voice and fluid positions. Over the years, we were able to see CFS's commitment to diversity and inclusion. As a Korean American, Erin has had an ongoing interest in Korean culture, language, and social issues, which has been developed throughout her nine years of attending Korean school each Saturday. When Erin shared this interest with her class, she was delightfully surprised by the welcome from her teachers and peers. Around February last year, when the pandemic started to become a serious issue in Korea, Erin began to look into Korean sources on wearing masks. After months, when the issue of wearing masks became particularly prevalent in the U.S., Erin shared her thoughts with a newspaper group, and an article on that matter came to be published as a featured article. This experience offered her a great sense of confidence about her culture. Erin often bring home book recommendation, video clips, uh, movie recommendation, which always lead to bountiful uh, family conversation. Whenever we listen to Erin and have conversations as a family, we get amazed at how much CFS is preparing each student uh, in areas of social justice and stewardship. On one occasion, after watching a video on environment care that Erin brought from school, we as a family decided to stop buying single-use bottled water. 
Over the last seven years, we have been able to confirm that CFS strives to nurture students that are crucial to our current time. Students with strong academic capabilities, as well as an unwavering sense of social responsibility. And it has been an honor for us to look back on our journey with the CFS today. Thank you. Thank you.